We turn now to breaking news in Biscayne Park. That's where a deadly crash is now under investigation. Sky 10 flying over the fiery remains earlier this afternoon. Local 10's Terrell Fournay joins us live now from the scene with what he's learned. Terrell. And we have confirmed that this deadly accident involves an electric car. The crash scene is actually behind me. Behind those police cars, you can probably see some debris in the road there. One of the aspects of this investigation will center around speed. You can barely make out what's left of a charred car in this video from Sky 10, a car that came to rest in a driveway in this quiet Biscayne Park neighborhood. The car is in such disarray and bad condition. It was uh, split in several pieces. And at this time, we're unable to confirm the make or model of the car. Investigators know the vehicle is an electric car and it had three people inside when it crashed into a tree on Northeast 119th Street just before one Monday afternoon. Two people were ejected from the car and ultimately rushed to the hospital, but a third person couldn't make it out in time and died in the single vehicle fiery wreck. Detectives have yet to confirm if speed was a factor, but we know the car wrapped around a tree and slammed into a carport outside of a home where it burst into flames. We've recovered uh, some evidence and some video. Right now it's an ongoing investigation, traffic homicide. Uh, we're going to be working with Miami-Dade County on the scene. So this is a two lane road, one lane in each direction, separated by that row of trees in the middle. Uh, we don't know, however, who these victims are. We do know that they are the survivors in this case. Those two people who were taken to the hospital are listed in extremely critical condition. Again, that third person died inside of the car after that fire happened, but certainly a uh, very devastating scene on this residential road that detectives are now trying to get to the bottom of. We are live in Biscayne Park, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.